Dear all, welcome to my channel. In case you are watching for the first time, this is a channel on engineering studies focusing more on electrical science. Please check description link for more videos. Also, please like, share and subscribe. Do click on bell icon to get notified as I upload new videos on every week. I also have another channel related to competitive examination preparations. Please support it by sharing with your friends. You can find the link in the description box. Welcome to the playlist of sensors and transducers. In the last session, I have discussed the introduction to pressure measurement. Okay, pressure is a non-electrical quantity. So, what are the different type of pressures available and uh, how to determine uh, the pressure? The basic concept about pressure has been discussed in the previous session and I am going to put up the same link in the description box as well as I button. Now, let's get understand what are the different type of method of measurement of pressure. So, there are two type of pressure measurement. The first method is called a direct method. You can write it as direct method. Okay. Direct method. The second method, you know, is an indirect method. Indirect method. You can note, make a note. Okay. In this video, I am going to discuss about the different direct method of pressure measurement. As you can able to see, there are 10 checklists. So, these are the different direct method of pressure measurement. There are few indirect methods such as ionization bridge, then Pirani vacuum gauge. Likewise, a few methods are available. That let me discuss in the coming session. However, let us discuss the first segment. That means 1 to 8. These are the different methods of measurement of pressure uh, by which direct method is following. Let us get understand uh, the electrical pressure transducer. What do we mean by electrical pressure transducer? It transform pressure into electrical signal. It may be voltage or current or resistance, whatever it can be. So, pressure is a non-electrical quantity that is going to convert into electrical signal. That is what exactly happening here. First of all, I would like to discuss about resistance type pressure transducer. What do you mean by resistance type pressure transducer? You can have an observation. There are two types. The first one is called strain gauge type. I have already discussed in details about strain gauge. The link is available in the description box. First of all, we can able to apply the pressure externally. So, pressure will be applying externally. You can see a ceramic or paper backing. A cover will be there. Inside, there is a grid wire. Okay, it is made up of a conductive material. Normally, we prefer, it is preferred to use lead wire. With respect to application of pressure, what is going to happen? The length of the lead wire is getting changed. So, as you know that resistance is directly proportional to length. And also the area may be changed. Okay. So, cross-sectional area also can be changed. We can able to write R is inversely proportional to area. So, based upon this length and uh, area of cross-section, obviously resistance is getting varied. So, the with respect to the application of pressure, uh, the resistance is getting varied. So, pressure is an input and the resistance will be the output. So, by using any kind of V-stones bridge, you can able to measure unknown resistance. So, pressure will be measured in terms of resistance. That is the first me way. Second method is moving contact type uh, pressure measure, pressure transducer. You can able to see pressure which we are going to apply externally. And we are having a bellows. It's an elastic type material. And uh, we can able to see a lead wires. Okay. Here we are going to keep the resistive element. And there is a slider also. Slider. You can see the slider then resistive element. Whenever you are applying the pressure, bellows are getting compressed. So bellows are directly connected to the lead wire. Okay, so whenever bellows are compressing, obviously the slider is getting, position of the slider is getting varied. Here slider may go down. Okay, so whenever slider comes down, the resistive element is getting changed. That means input is pressure. Pressure is the input and uh, the output will be the resistance. Okay, so here pressure that will be proportional to the value of resistance. So this is the way how to measure the resistance by using strain gauge and uh, by using moving contact type meters. Next, we will be discussing about pressure measurement by using voltage transducer. First of all, let us consider the diagram. Everybody please look at here. And we are having a battery or EMF source. And there is a slider. Slider is available here. And this is actually the resistive element. And we are having a, a moving coil uh, voltmeter. Okay. And uh, we are applying the pressure externally. Okay. Pressure is applying over here. Bellows are available here. Whenever we are applying the force or pressure in a particular area, definitely the slider is getting varied. This is your slider. Okay. 
slider position is getting changed with respect to position of the slider uh, what what happens if the slider is getting varied definitely the potential it will act as a potential divider the value of voltage is that is getting varied just like a potential division rule you know so based on the variation of the slider the output potential is getting varied so pressure is the input so it is very clear and what might be the output output is the emf emf will be the output so this is the way how pressure voltage transducer operate next i would like to discuss about the inductive type pressure transducer how does inductive type pressure transducer operate as you can able to see uh, the pressure this is a pressure element you are applying the pressure with respect to the shaft and there is a coil these are the coils okay with n number of turns and we can see that there is a core okay core part is available this is a core okay you can see the core it which is movable with respect to the shaft movement core is also getting position will be varied and winding will be provided accordingly clear so you are applying the pressure externally with respect to the pressure the position of the core is getting varied okay core position is varied whenever core position is getting varied inductance is also getting changed inductance means l l is getting changed okay so the change in inductance is directly proportional to the pressure so this is the way how uh, pressure inductive type pressure transducer operate let us discuss about another type of uh, pressure measurement device that is uh, lvdt by using lvdt so lvdt is categorized under inductive type pressure transducer and uh, here you can see the movable core and uh, pressure you are applying externally pressure is applying to the bellows okay with respect to the uh, application of pressure bellows that is trying to move to the shaft definitely the movable core is getting varied initially movable core is at the middle position if the movable core is at the middle, middle position the differential voltage let me call it as e1 and this will be e2 so 